Hello and welcome back to Nova Airtus and our Iron Man challenge. Now, when we left off, we had suffered a pretty significant amount of losses, so I took a little bit of time to try and get some units back. And otherwise, we are now here raiding another village. And, uh, well, you can also see my, my weekly wages right there. So, as you can see, we're currently at Emerin, which is very close by to Dirim, as you can see. And, oh dear... Wait a minute. Oh, I actually survived? I thought to myself, oh, that guy is going to absolutely murder us. But it seems like I am able to loot everything that we desire. Nice. So that means that I can now run away. Oh, look at how close that was. Okay, this is going to be really bad. Can I escape? Oh, I gained the Faithless trait, apparently. And uh, now I have a minus 50% battle advantage from tactics. That's kind of harsh. But thankfully I am able to move away from this fellow extremely quickly. There we go. And we've also got Quinius back, which is relatively good. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to place him at the top here. And we're just going to send off Catherine if we can. There we go. She's going to go off and do that. And then we will level everyone else up there we are let's just get a little bit more points in this and wow well, everyone everyone is leveling up relatively well and i think we're just going to continue leveling up strength for the moment because we want them all to be able to use a good amount of weapons and just generally be relatively strong in combat because if they're not strong in combat then they're not really going to be able to do too much i have recruited a couple of people from taverns and things to hopefully improve our general combat strength anyway we're going to be selling here wow look at this sixteen thousand florence i basically don't even have to worry about this we're going to keep the holy relief at the moment and i'll sell the fine butter the iron the salt i could technically sell salt somewhere else for a greater profit I think but I'm just going to sell it here defensive gavions that's fine now we'll sell the honey as well as well as the hides and the wool cloth and there we have it wow 4,400 florins I, I gotta say I'm not actually that big a fan of doing raids I feel like raids are probably not even the greatest way that we can make cash which is a real shame to be honest because I would love to be able to raid a little bit more and maybe gain a significant amount of money from it but you can see here that that's just not how it is you can see here that we are literally having so much renown and and everything just because we have literally done so many tournaments and i actually did do another tournament relatively uh recently so that obviously gave me a little bit of extra cash so what we're gonna do is because we are a mercenary uh, for the Serenid Sultanate, I am literally just going to go and we're going to try and do some damage to the Rodox. And I'm not talking about raiding another village. I feel, I feel like raiding the village is probably not the best idea. I'm going to attack these looters because I need to level up a couple of our forces as well. And we're just going to take them out really, really quickly. I'm just going to tell my people just to charge in. We've got 41 infantry. There's basically no point in holding position, at least in my opinion. And what we're going to do is hopefully take out these looters and then we'll walk very very carefully and cautiously into the deepest territories of the Rodok kingdom and we will try our very best to find a vassal that we can take on i feel like that is going to be our best best shot for well everything renown honor whatever you want to say so we're going to try and do that if we can i gotta be a bit careful here though because bear in mind that looters in <laughs> Nova Airtas are actually kind of harsh, as you can see right here. Wow, they're, they're actually uh, doing a lot of damage to our to our people right now. I'm going to tell my infantry just to charge straight on in and get our cavalry to retreat a little bit. Vagia Marksman doing a good job. We don't have too many of those, unfortunately, so not going to really be able to see... Oh, okay, hello. Hello. Let's, let's heal ourselves real quick. Fall off our horse a little as well. That is the animation that you're going to see there. But, uh, yeah... Unfortunately, uh, Byron is not exactly the greatest warrior that the land has ever seen, so he is going to be a little bit bad 
at, well, generally everything combat focused, but he's going to be very good at preventing our units from dying. He's going to be really good at staying alive and general things like that. And as you can see, they were wearing agonic armor, which is actually pretty good. I mean, you know, it is, it's, it's quite good, you know. It's nothing, uh, nothing too bad. So we're just going to continue on. We're kind of surprised that we were actually able to find some looters that had such good gear, but I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised considering it is Nova Etas. I could technically raid this village as well. Should I raid this? I see now that's the thing. Raiding this village might yield some very good results. But I don't have enough, I don't have a lot of space. You know, I don't have a lot of space. That is uh, a bit of an issue. Hello. Wow. That's a lot of people. All right. Not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this. Who's that guy? Okay, so what does he have? Seven sharpshooters, 25 elite crossbow. You know what? I'm just going to get out of here. I think we could probably handle them if we had... Aha. Uh -huh. No. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think we could probably handle them if we had an ally nearby, but I don't think that's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're just going to loot and burn this village. Uh, yeah, I didn't really want to do this again. But uh, we might as well take advantage of it if we can actually pull off a raid without being intercepted by anyone. Then it's pretty good and pretty easy money. But it is, of course, reducing our relation with various lords and things. Don't know how much we really care about that, though, to be honest. So maybe it's not something that we have to really worry about right now. Anyway, let's just continue to get all of this. And that's it. There you go. I think that's actually pretty good. We we basically took everything that we could that was worth quite a bit. So nothing really to worry about there. And we literally did not have any danger whatsoever. Very nice indeed. So I think this is actually pretty good. I mean, in comparison to tournaments, do I like it? Eh, not entirely sure about that. Because I feel like tournaments are going to be, in general, much more lucrative because you're going to gain renown from it you're going to gain a variety of really really good things from it and it is just so much easier in my opinion to pull off as well because every single round you're going to gain 800 or so in cash and in this case you're not really getting the same payoff i mean you're kind of getting the same payoff a little bit here but it is as you can see 3000 3,000 florins, it's not the best. I'm just going to sell everything that I have right here. And we're just going to buy some bread. There you go. So 3,200 from that, which I think is okay. You know, I think that's all right. And yeah, then we have Ransom Broker, of course. Oh, Hyatt Blades. Yes, join me. Thank you very much. It seems like the text log is having a bit of a problem. Not entirely sure what's going on with that. I think it's being spammed by errors or something like that i have twenty two thousand. let's go in and see whether i can i don't want to rent anything i would like to buy something if at all possible all right so i need twenty three thousand to buy the patrician mansion so we're going to need to raid something else let's go to jamish and see if we can raid that and we are pretty close to maximum company size as well by the way so even if i do get attacked we will probably in all likelihood be able to beat whoever it is but if there's two of them say goodbye oh oh seems like the serenade sultanate are very close by as you can see from the text log right there oh oh dear oh oh dear uh yeah okay let's do it Let's do it. Let's attack him. Let's attack him and see exactly what we can do. We're going to just stand here again, just in this courtyard, and we'll see what we can do. We're against 62 of the enemy's units. This is really, really... Oh, actually, we might do this. We might do this because there are farmers. You know, there's basically just farmers in the area, and they're really easy. So if we can just, you know focus on the farmers and try and get them out of the way or, or you know in general just try and win <laughs> that would be nice that would be very nice I don't know whether this is going to work but we'll try it 
I mean, we're pl we're playing against the king right now. This is li this is literally the king of the Rorox himself. I'm actually really surprised that he decided to appear at this point. I would have expected him to be off defending Jamish Castle. I think that's the main reason why this is happening, actually, because the uh, Saranid Sultanate actually started a siege right next door to us, basically, and that drew a huge amount of attention to this area, and that's the reason why we're having so many difficulties, in my opinion. So this is, this is kind of bad. I'm going to keep my people in hold position for the moment, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to win in many of these situations if we can just kind of keep together and make sure that everyone is doing a good job and uh, hopefully I won't need to heal anyone actually you know what Let, let's heal our people why not I know someone actually did mention in the comments that healing our own units might be a little bit imbalanced but when I'm up against the king himself with 333 units I'm pretty happy to use anything I can to survive because, let's face it, that, that's pretty harsh, you know, that's pretty harsh. So let's see if I can do some damage to this crossbowman. I'd like to, oh, he ran away. Of course he did. Of course. Oh, there's a courser. Hello. The farmer is actually causing more damage than the, than the crossbowman himself. That's kind of hilarious. Elite crossbowmen in Nova Aetis, especially for the Rodox, don't seem to be that effective. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Because that means that we can do quite a bit of damage to them without having to worry so much about them taking us out. As you can see, they don't seem that good with their melee attacks. And you can see here, look at this, we've only lost 12 units in comparison to the enemy's 65. And we're going to continue to do the same strategy where we just kind of lure the enemy in to this little courtyard. Just tell our units to charge straight on in to try and eliminate them as best we can. And then will be in a good position to uh, maybe achieve some kind of victory. I, I don't know how it's going to really go. I don't know how, how many we need to kill because our battle advantage is so incredibly low. It's like, what, minus eight or something? So that's a problem in many ways. And uh, maybe I can kill that. There we go. Kill that crossbowman. Oh, we need to kill these really heavily armored units. There we go. He's dead. That's fantastic. Let's tell our people to hold position once again so we can get out of these bottlenecks. We really don't want to get pulled into such a conflict because that conflict's going to absolutely murder us in quite a few ways, I think. So if I can just go over here, try and do some damage, try and draw them in to the courtyard. That's all I really want to do. Just draw them in a little bit. There we go. And now we can tell our people to charge in once again we've got to be a bit careful here as i've said before the crossbowmen are not exactly great with melee but they can do so much damage with their crossbows they really can so it is kind of difficult there we go come on take them down yes take out that crossbowman very nice indeed okay so how many oh look at this look at this they only have 18 left i'm not entirely sure whether they're going to be receiving more reinforcements but if they are then uh, I think we're doing pretty well. But if they aren't, that's a victory for us. Oh yeah, look at this. We might actually achieve victory. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? Wow, I really can't. I really thought to myself as the king was coming up to us, hey, you know what? We're probably going to have a bit of a problem here. But apparently not. Apparently our forces are doing very well. We lost seven units, however which is actually a pretty big deal because, of course, we have a very small army size. We really do. So losing 16 plus 7, that's really bad. That's 23 out of the out of the possible... How many do we have? How many units do we have? Like 70... 70... 77 or something like that? So losing that amount, that leaves us with about 50 or so units. And I don't know how long it's going to take for the enemy to you know, actually want to attack us again. Seems like the enemy is stuck in the environment. Uh, maybe, maybe they're around the side. Not entirely sure about that. I guess I will try to make my way around there. 
Ah, there he is. Okay. Phew. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, apparently my shield skill is not good enough to be able to block every single crossbow bolt. This is an elite, by the way. So this is actually really bad. Oh, he's running. He's running. Get, get back here. Get back here, you elite crossbowman person. Yeah, he's... I'm not entirely sure why my why my uh, friends are taking so long to get over here, but oh well, never mind. Oh look, he's actually switching to his crossbow. What a sneaky bastard. And look at him, look at him, and then he retreats. Wow. Okay. The cheek of the man, right? The cheek. Oh well, there you go. 34 renown and 11 morale. Now, of course we didn't lose that many units, but we are now going to have problems with dealing with the, the remaining units, because you can see here, 54 farmers... Oh, we can actually leave. Ah, oh, we can actually leave. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave here. Just literally because I can. Because I am so much faster than he is. But look at him. He has 210 units remaining. Didn't he have like 300 or something like that? Or was I just seeing that? Yeah, he had 333, no? Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Anyway, the Serenid Sultanate are actually starting a siege. Rolfin has come back, which is really nice. So we are going to just level up our forces. Yeah, these guys level up so fast when you fight really, really large companies of units. And we're going to go and uh, speak to him. And he is going to support our cause as well. Very nice. Rolfin is back, so let's put him up to the top. Ah, now what do we have here? An eastern threat. Rumors from the east reach your court. Rumors about a warrior who united a great number of tribes into a large empire. Rumors about undefeated armies, raising towns to the ground, plundering great centers of trade, and rumors about slaughtered people who resisted. It is time to think about our own position. Are we united enough to stop such a threat from outside Calradia? Not yet, apparently. Okay, well, we're still here, as you can see. And Agostino, the king himself, is uh, having a bit of an issue right there. I'm actually going to... Uh, you know what? Let's go and recruit some Saranid units because we are right here. We might as well... Uh, don't want to force anyone to recruit. And this village is looted. That village is looted. Okay, well, apparently I'm not going to be recruiting any units from here. And he is now running on. I wonder where he's going, to be honest. Alright, so technically I could start raiding this again. And... Oh, uh, that would be kind of amusing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Is that raided? No, that's not raided. Okay, so I'm going to try and get some units from the nearby territories, and then we'll come back and try and... Oh! Ah, spotting skill. I need spotting skill. Yeah, this guy is absolutely going to murder us. Um. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. The only reason we're able to win those battles in the village against overwhelming odds is the fact that most of the enemy's units are, are farmers. That's literally the only reason. And now that we are on a pure battlefield, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. So I'm going to have to sacrifice 35 of my soldiers and run in the opposite direction. Wow, that was really, really unlucky, to be honest. Look at that. Look at my spotting skill. It is just absolutely awful. Nazaria is literally only having two in spotting. We really need to do something about that. I feel like we really need much better vision range for an Iron Man challenge. So I think we're going to try and uh, maybe try and focus on that a little bit for him. But I think because of that huge setback and because I literally have no units to do anything with anymore, apart from maybe do a, a tournament or so, you know, that's basically what I can do now. It's just kind of earn some money. And I was hopeful that, oh, look at that guy. I'd be able to defeat that guy on a, on a battlefield really easily in actual fact if I had my other army that I just lost. But yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. I will look for a tournament, but I'm not going to show that, I don't think, on screen because we have shown enough of those in the past and you know exactly what it's all about. I will check the tavern, however, just to see if there's anyone here. Ooh, Mercenary Lancer. Yeah, sure, join me. Why not? I'm happy to have those guys join me. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.